Okay, so I'll, I'll show you how to program the TCM320, which I've got plugged onto the evaluation board here. Or the, so that's the TCM320 plugged on the eval board, um, connected to the EOP programmer, and the USB goes in here. Don't use this USB because this is just for um, a power supply. So that's basically set up, ready to be programmed. Run the Dolphin Studio software. Uh, the version I'm using is, I think, 2.1. Yeah. So if you go help and about, you'll see, uh, there we go, 2.1.0.0, uh, which I can make available. And then just go to the programmer section up here, EOPX programmer. It will find the programmer. Um, browse for your file. So here, select the straightforward hex file. The CFG file will be loaded automatically. So there you go. Do you want to use the file as a configuration file? OK. That's done. That's just ready to go. Click Execute. And when you do, these lights will flash briefly. And uh, that's programmed. So now we can uh, teach the switches into the board. So here's my switches. And uh, basically put it into learn mode, pressing the learn switch. I've got this set in mode 3. Uh, which is just because I'm using some of the switching software in the board at the moment. I can remove those, uh, the requirement for that jumper later on, but this will work on the, at the moment. So press the learn mode, and you'll see the red learn mode indicator goes on and the first channel starts flashing. Press the switch that you want to associate with that, or switches, up to 30 of course, and it stops flashing for a couple of seconds and then starts flashing again. Press the learn Again, it will move on to the next channel, press the next switch, and again wait for it to start flashing again, move on to the next channel, I think you need about half a second press on the learn button, and uh, the next one, and then finally the last channel. And then when you press the learn mode again, the learn button again, the, uh, the mode indicator will switch off, and that's now ready. So if I press switch 1, 2, 3, 4, and you can see the different delays there. If I press them all at the same time, you can see the different delays. didn't quite get them both at the same time. There we go. And that's it.